I know a lot of people who just can't bear to watch him, and yet there are other people who just think he's terrific. And, you know, they get incensed if anybody even, you know, dares suggest that it isn't perfect. The greatest free skater in the whole world, and there's no doubt in my mind. He just does the same thing other people do in a way such that there's no comparison with the way other people do. Oh, I just wish I could skate as good as he could. <laughs> I'd die inside. I just melt. He's just... Great. He's an extraordinary person, absolutely. He's just one of those people you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> artistic functions, both very individual, both very much a part of me. The skating has definitely influenced my painting because I'm very aware of fluidity of line, movement, and rhythms. It looks like doodle art. <laughs> There's just so much detail and so much color. You can look for hours and there's always something new that you can discover. It seems to be lacking gut feeling. It would help him if he sort of found out what's happening in the world today. I wonder where he gets all his ideas. Like here, he has six toes on every foot there. You know, you wonder what he's thinking about when he does these things, don't you? The most important thing that people can say about me as a painter is to refer to me as a painter. The infuriating thing is to be referred to as a skater that paints.
different, but I like them. I sometimes arrive upon a motif on canvas, and then I think, maybe I'll just put that into a program. almost reached the ultimate it can technically. In order to progress, the sport has to develop artistically. Toller was the first and still the leader in developing skating artistically, and that's the way it has to develop. <laughs> Sometimes comes a moment you feel well you have to just put your foot down and well, I got 
so mad, I just burst out of the... Smart than I'm... Thank <laughs> you.